Okay, here we have 11.1 graphing the inverse of a function given its graph. And so another property that we have about inverses is that there, we already know that their points are changed from each other. But we also need to know is that f and f inverses are reflections of each other over the line y equals x. So if I draw the line y equals x, something like that. I'm not, I'm not perfect and this is not like super great graph paper, right? But it looks something like that. I think this one's a little off. There we go. Okay, so that's the line y equals x. And so if I'm drawing the inverse, it should be a mirror image of that over this line. But how do I find it? You literally just need to label each of these points and then interchange their x and y coordinates. So this point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 for x, and 1, 2, 3, negative 3 for y. Coordinates of this point are 0 for x and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6 for y. The coordinates of this point are 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative four for x and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative seven for y. So if I interchange these, that means I have the points negative three and five, negative six and zero, and then negative seven and negative four, okay? So these are the f inverse um, points. And so I'm gonna put those points, negative one, two, three, and um, one, two three four five so negative one two three and five then negative six four five six and zero and then negative seven and one two three four and so then I just kind of emulate these are straight line here and a straight line there so I'm gonna do the same thing make a straight line here and make a straight line there and then you'll notice that these are literally mirror images of each other over that line y equals x, okay? Now again, this is not graph paper, so that's why here this one may look a little bit further away than it does here, although it should look like it's the same. This distance and this distance should look the same. But I'm not using graph paper, so it's not perfect, okay? But you get the idea. List these points and then interchange their x and y values to get the new points on the inverse function. And all the images are gonna work like that. It really doesn't matter what the graph looks like, you're doing the same process.